Hey guys, what's up and welcome to iCode. In this video, we're gonna learn about text fields. So open up Xcode and create a new project. New project. And let's name this, yeah, single view application. And let's name this as text fields. And let's save this on desktop. Now, what is a text field? If you open up your Gmail app, you can see two text fields. One text field to type in your email and the other text field to type in your password. And that is what a text field is. And now let's see how to work with text fields. Go to main.storyboard and uh, from the object library, select text field. Yeah, text field. Now drag it onto the screen and let's just put it at the center. Yeah, center. Like a label, you can actually size the text field and let's run this on a simulator let it be 5s and let's make sure that we select iphone se as here is c and let's resize it again and put it at the center now center yeah now run it on iphone 5s Build succeeded. Yeah, this is what a text field is. And if you tap on the text field, you can type in some text in here. I'm typing from my keyboard, say something like I code. But if you want to use a keyboard from the app, go to hardware, keyboard, and toggle software keyboard. And now you can use the keyboard from iPhone. And you can type in text from here as well. I code something like this. Yeah. Now, let us customize this text field. Make sure that the text field is selected. And on the right pane, you can actually put some text into text field from here. Like say I code, enter. And now you see you got some text inside your text field. But most of the time you don't want to do this. So just get rid of this. Okay. Let it be for now and you can actually change your font, choose your custom font, maybe anything, something like that. Yeah, you can actually change the size of your text, maybe 20 and done. Okay, let me tell you about alignment and uh, if you select this one and now you see you got your text field at the center sorry not text field text of your text field at the center so whatever the text you type into the text field it starts from center it always tries to be at the center of your text field but most of the time you don't want to do this so just click this one now placeholder what is a placeholder okay let me show you by an example let's just get rid of this and drag in another text field and put it right here now uh, how does the user know what to type in the first text field and the second text field? And that is where we use placeholder. Now, make sure that the first text field is selected and type in enter email address. And make sure that the second text field is selected and type in enter password. And now let's just run it on a simulator, iPhone 5s. And yeah, this is what a placeholder is. Like it shows you what to type in the particular text field. And when you start typing, it, the text which actually is appearing now get disappear. Like when you start saying I code Chan, yeah, it disappeared. Same with the password. And that is what a placeholder is. And now, why is it showing different font size to us? Let's see what is it placeholder yeah placeholder enter email password yeah you see the font size is different for 
this text field it's 20 and for this text field it's only 14 so let's just make it 20 yeah now we have got the same font size okay that is about placeholder and you can actually put a background image border style just let it be default and uh, yeah minimum font size like you want to say what is the minimum font size that the text in the text field can have like what we have seen in the label and that is what that is all about minimum font size and what else yeah these are some good features for the text field like capitalization correction spell checking keyboard type appearance and return key and most of the time i think uh, yeah keyboard type is very useful because if we give the correct keyboard for the user it will be great suppose if you are typing a phone number and you don't want to give a keyboard which has all the alphabets and all we want the keyboard to be shown which has exactly like which has only the numbers so this is pretty handy and appearance normal default spell checking most of the time yes for me it's no i don't want to use this spell checking the correction yeah sometimes and capitalization yeah okay and the alignment will be looking into it in the upcoming videos scale to fill content mode alpha yeah there's nothing but opacity of the text in the text field like uh, let the text be something like i code and the lesser the value of alpha the more the text fades like this if it is 0 0.1 it sorry 0 0.2 it fades more and that is what alpha is alpha does so let's just get rid of this one hey, what else auto is yeah that's it guys that is all about text fields if you have any doubt in this part of video comment down below and i'll respond to you as fast as i can so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and see you in another video goodbye